What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. If you look through the Insta feed of Stokes, Davis, and Klein, you will see that the filming for season two of Outer Banks had already been wrapped on April 3rd, 2021. This means that the only thing left to do now is edit the footage and upload it to Netflix. That's just a rough outline of what's about to happen in the season. Let's get into the details with Outer Banks Season 2 first look. Let's dive right into it, shall we? That's Sarah Cameron, Kook Princess. I work on her dad's boat, so, you know, I've seen her around. And then that's Topper, her not so pleasant boyfriend. What's going to happen in Season 2? We all know that the show ended on a pretty huge cliffhanger. Namely, after that big boat chase in the banks, John and Sarah found themselves in the open sea, facing a storm. Ward called the boat and told John to return Sarah home if he really loves her. But this little plan of his backfires when John B. dropped all of the dirt on Ward. He was immediately arrested by the cops. The storm we talked about was more than strong enough to capsize the boat. When the news reached the Pogues, all of John's friends thought that these two were dead. As they started mourning the loss of their friends, Pope and Kiara started a relationship. But wait, the show had a little secret. John and Sarah actually survived the crash, and now they were being taken to Nassau by a cargo ship. Can you imagine the joy on their face when they realized that they would finally be able to recover the $400 million treasure John B.'s father told them about? You better, because this is exactly where season two was being shot. Vlad, from Vienna. What's mine? Okay, uh, Valerie from Quebec. During an interview with EW, Pate told us that the show will have a few episodes that are shot in the Bahamas. It's going to be a little different from the Outer Banks, but don't worry, the show will be coming back to their sole place in a very short while. But those are not all of the secrets that we found. You see, when Klein was being interviewed by Entertainment Tonight, she slipped a little spoiler. You see, there is going to be a time jump in season two. Nothing too big, it's just going to be something that makes you more excited to learn what happened between the two timelines. In fact, here's what Madeline Klein actually said about this. This is a micro time jump. There's the king of shock where you turn the page and you gasp, and then your mind starts going a thousand miles a minute. You're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun to shoot. There were even some hints about how the season is going to start. During an interview, the stars said that the show will start off with the Pogues mourning the loss of John B. And then, all of a sudden, the action will move to the Bahamas, where John and Sarah will be doing their thing. That probably means looking for the fortune. As for some of the fighting on the set, we're sure that the Pogues will be seeking revenge. After all, that's what Pankow and Bailey said. Both actors think that the group will have a hard time coming to terms with the supposed death of John B., especially Pankow's character. The actor even said, justice is going to be served, but it's just a matter of who does it. He even added that he would like to see his character struggle coming to terms with the death of his best friend. Not to mention, there are a lot of predictions and fan theories that we came across. The first and the craziest has to be the one that states John B. will find his mom in the Bahamas, and then there's the one where they find the gold. Although, if they did this, it would just seem like they rushed the season. And then there's this little side theory that JJ will be living with Kiara. But one other thing that we should be talking about are the newcomers to the set of Outer Banks. That's right, we're going to be seeing a few new faces on the set. Are you crazy? You idiot! Why would you do that? Saving his life! Who's going to be in the cast? The first character that we're going to be seeing on the set of Outer Banks is going to be Cleo. This character is going to be played by actress Carlosia Grant. If you're wondering what type of character she's going to be playing, here's the description. Confident and fearless, Cleo is a Nassau girl, a formidable, artful dodger whose world collides with the Pogues. This has to mean that John and Sarah will meet her on the island, and she will become part of the regular cast. Other than that, the main cast will still be the same. Chase Stokes will reprise his role as John B. Madeley Klein will still be playing Sarah. Madison Bailey will still play Kiara. Jonathan Davis will continue to be out. Pope and Rudy Pankow will undoubtedly keep the role of JJ in season two. The few minor roles we might encounter on the set will include Shane McClett as Matthew and Nick Lawrence in the role of Deputy Collins. Now, Elizabeth Mitchell is added to the cast of season two, but we don't really know what the role she'll be playing. Kind of a mystery. He showed up out of nowhere and paid for all of the land around here in gold. Gold? Mm -hmm. 
As we see many of the fans making predictions and theories, we came across one that said the narrator will change in season 2. And if we connect the dots, maybe Elizabeth is going to be the second season narrator of Outer Banks. Oh man, this might change a lot. What we do know is that there's going to be a new main villain in season 2 of Outer Banks. Ward, on the other hand, isn't going to get justice right away, so it's not surprising if he spends a little more than just a few episodes in prison. With so many new characters, we just know that the cast will be having a blast in season 2. Now we talked about when they wrapped filming, but we didn't tell you anything about release dates and the production process. You're going to have to forgive us, we got too carried away talking about the plot. Anyways. But how would that keep us safe? They said when Hollis disappeared that she- That you should shut the F up! When's the release date? What's on Netflix? Back in 2020, Jonathan Davis tweeted first day of a long shoot, grateful to have this amazing cast and crew to do it with. This was released on August 31st, which means that shooting for season 2 started on the very same day. The series was still filmed in Charleston, South Carolina, but the difference now is there was this whole part that was shot in the Bahamas. Regardless of location, the cast had to follow strict protocols because of the pandemic. And this was partly the reason that filming actually concluded on April 3rd instead of the intended December 2020. The official news about wrapping filming didn't come until April 7th. All of those restrictive measures on the set, and the cast still managed to have some great fun on the set. Just take a look at these shots they took during filming. And as for the actual release date, the show is expected to hit Netflix sometime in late 2021. That's because no one can ever say with certainty. The pandemic forces editors to work from their homes, and you can pretty much guess how hard it's going to be to edit an entire TV show from home. <sighs> so, if I show up in your room in the middle of the night... You just want me to roll that? Yeah, maybe. Is the trailer out yet? Unfortunately, we still have to wait for the release of the trailer. As we said, the editing process is probably at the very beginning right now, so it's going to take them a few more months to upload the teaser we're eagerly waiting for. As a general rule of thumb, expect to see the trailer one month before the release of the show. So if you see it somewhere, then Outer Banks Season 2 is coming up very soon. Now for those of you who don't want to wait, you can visit the Instagram profiles of the cast members and you'll find a ton of free behind-the-scenes footage that will reveal a lot about the show. On a related note, what do you think will happen in Season 2 of Outer Banks? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.